Rick B's daily vlogs. What a beautiful view of the west. You got the Presidio Park in the background. We're here on top of Russian Hill because of how it got its name. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs, on top of Russian Hill. Because of how Russian Hill got his name, I was looking around, something interesting to talk about today, and found out why Russian Hill got its name. And it's a little creepy. And right here, and this grass, not there, but buried underneath there is what's kind of creepy. Let's go. Let's check this out. You got a nice view of the East Bay behind this tree right here. You can see the Trans America building right over there. Over here to the north, you got the North Bay. You can see Vallejo all the way up there. But again, I'm here because of how Russian Hill, Knob Hill got its name. Because of the settlers back in the 1800s that were buried up here. Back in the 1800s, you had Russians who were living in this area. And when they died, they buried them in this area, right here, right where I'm standing. And if you guys don't believe me, right over here, in this nice, beautiful neighborhood, you got two black houses, one right there and one right here. Not sure the significance of the color of the house, but right here, you have a little plaque. And the plaque, again, commemorates the sailors who stayed here, who lived in this area. And if you read this part right there, it said Russian Hill was named for the graves of the several sailors of the Russian-American company who died here in the early 1840s. During the gold rush, the 49ers found the graves marked by the wooden crosses at top of this hill and added graves of their own. The graves were removed or built over during the 1850s. Did that say removed or built over? Removed or built over? Did they remove the graves? Or did they just remove the headstones? You only move the headstones! Kind of a cool way of how this hill got its name. And again, you got the plaque right there commemorating, talking about how the sailors, who was probably just over there, came up here, settled, died, 
and buried right below us. How creepy. Kind of sort of creepy. Kind of. But at the same time, it's a piece of San Francisco history that I'm sharing with you guys and how this hill, how this neighborhood got its name. I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Again, at one point in the 1800s, you had sailors, immigrants coming from different parts of the world who probably just anchored their ship right over there in the distance, got drunk of the many bars in the neighborhood, many of the watering holes, the Jack Sparrows, the Barbosas, that once they settled and passed away, they were just buried again, anywhere, right here, anywhere. And the creepy thing about it, it says, that the 49ers, the gold miners who came in here, who found their cross, all they did was put more people in there. It'd be nice to know where they were buried, what area of the cemetery they're in. This right here was dedicated back in June 6, 2005. Pretty cool. Pretty cool of San Francisco history right here. Besides the view over there in the north, again, if I pan over this direction, up that way, zoom in just a little bit, you can see the eastern span of the Bay Bridge, the tip right over there, a little piece of Treasure Island right over there as well. Come out this way, you have Transamerica Building, Right over there, build Embarcadero, could be Embarcadero 4 in the distance as well. Then you got the San Francisco side of the Bay Bridge right over there. And down that direction, a street right there, that's Broadway. Cool little area, cool little area. You can't really see the Salesforce Tower, it's right over there behind right next to the Bank of America building. You got the Salesforce Tower right there. Now to me, this is cool fact. It's fact, history, fact. San Francisco came up. This is Vallejo Street, where I'm at the end of Vallejo Street. Broadway Tunnel is right under us. Again, you get the view of the north right there. Pier 39 is just that direction, right there. If I Go out a little more. Pier 39 is right over there, but this is a cool, cool piece of San Francisco fact right here. Russian Hill, how it got its name, how the name became what it is because of the settlers who died and was probably still buried here. Probably. Most likely. Maybe. Maybe. This area right here is famous for the parrots, the parakeets that are flying wild. You'll probably hear them in some of the videos. You'll hear different types of birds. Parakeets are known here. Telegraph Hill is not that far from us. Koi Tower area is not that far from us. So that's where you hear the wild parrots running around. But man, cool piece of history. And again, check out that view right behind me, right over there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe if you haven't. This, to me, is a little little deep San Francisco history just because of how something happened back in the 1800s and the name stuck and the name's still with us. People still call it. You ask them what area of San Francisco they live in. They live in Russian Hill. First you think maybe it was an area where a lot of Russian people lived, but it's really where they were buried. Pretty, pretty cool history, I would think. Not creepy, not scary. Pretty cool. Alright guys, don't forget, thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining the journey with me today on the daily vlog. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Vlog's ended. Go in peace.
there be me Jack Sparrow. Give me me gold, Jack Sparrow. Give me me gold. Russian Hill?